Okay, so in this video I'm going to be looking at rotations in more detail. So, let's say we have our regular two points, 1, 0 and 0, 1. And what's going to happen is that I'm going to rotate these around the origin so that 1, 0 goes to this point here and 0, 1 goes to this point here. So I'm rotating round like so. Now, if I want to find the coordinates of these new points, because that's really what I want to do, because I know that if I find the coordinates of those points, then I have the matrix. So it's going to begin with where 1, 0 has been transformed to. Now, if this has a length of 1, because if that distance is 1 and I've rotated it around, this has a distance of 1, then... If I look at this using the angle theta, and I construct a right angle triangle, then with 1 being the hypotenuse of that triangle, I can use uh, Sokotoa, basic trigonometry, to say, well, if I call that length A and that length B, then um, I can use trigonometry to find those lengths. So, sine of theta, for example, is opposite over hypotenuse, so b over 1, and b over 1 is just b. So that means that the height of this triangle is just sine theta. Now if I use cosine, which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, a over 1, well that's just a. So that means that the base of the triangle is cos theta. So that means I now have the coordinates of that point because it is cos theta along and sine theta high. And so I know the first column of my matrix is cos theta sine theta. Now in exactly the same way I can consider this right angle triangle for 0, 1 being rotated round to this point. So, what I find is that this angle, being the same one, it must be travelling through so that it now has a height of cos theta, because that's 1, remember, so uh, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is just 1, and this is the opposite, so this must be sine theta. And so if I was finding the coordinates at this point, then it would be minus sine theta along and cos theta high. So that is the second column of my right angled, of my um, matrix, sorry. So this matrix defines a transformation that is a rotation about the origin anti-clockwise and that's important we're going in the anti-clockwise direction by angle theta okay so that's how we can define that matrix now that matrix is in our formula booklet so we don't have to put it to memory but we do know, need to know how to use it and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the next video.